I'm guessing training's not your favorite bit of this job. <laughs> no, it's not my favorite. So you, you'll see why later. I'll find out. Oh, great. This part is quite important, uh, together with the neck. Right, it's all, under all a lot of strain on long corners exactly. and stuff. Okay. Yeah. They're not that heavy, this one. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 I believe you. Try to go up faster and slower down. They're quite heavy. <laughs> That's like a side plank, but a hard, really hard one. Yeah, I really okay. Know. Like that. Yeah. Oh my god, this is really hard. <laughs> wow, have a look at this. This is my little place where I really get to enjoy myself a bit. You can see for miles here. You cannot think about Formula One up here. There is just... That's the last thing you think about, no? Yeah. Formula One. And uh, it's, it's nice to have a place like this, uh, you know, because I, I really get to, to go away from, from the sport, from, from the routine, from the job. This is uh, <gasps> little Chiquito and, and Carola. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Now, you need to tell me honestly, Carola, does he ever change any nappies? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. I don't well, think she understands well oh, English. I know, I know. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's shy with cameras. He doesn't like. She's like the mom. <laughs> and what a change in the two year, those two years. Yes, a lot. Big, big change. Yeah, big change. But we're very happy. Yeah. <gasps> and is he going to be a racing driver? <gasps> well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Maybe you, you're seeing the, new, the next Mexican Formula One driver. I just saw a couple of pictures here and from your wedding day and you got married in Guadalajara. In Guadalajara, yes. This is from Madrid when we were living there. The European season, we spent some time there. He's going to be a very well-traveled little boy, isn't he? He has traveled already quite a lot. <gasps> he behaves well, he likes traveling. <laughs> Does it change your priorities or your thoughts of your career at all now? My priorities on, on my career are the same. Uh, the competitiveness uh, is the same. And as racing drivers, we are not normal people. So when you are there in the car, when you close your visor, you don't think about your family or, 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 or your babies. And you just have to be the, the guy next to you. And if that means that you don't have to lift, you don't lift. What about Ferrari? Is the dream gone? Just, the dream is, will always be there, but you never know what will happen in, in the future, you know. Um, you still in touch? I was in touch uh, less this year, to be honest, than, than other years. I think other years they were, it was very close to happen. Then, then for, for one or another reason it didn't happen, but you never know what the future will, will bring. You've been seventh in the drivers the last two years running. You absolutely have been the best of the rest after those top three. Is that enough for you? It's not, not enough, but... Uh, the way the sport is at the moment. If you are not in a Ferrari or, or Mercedes uh, or even a Red Bull, the best you can do is what I've done the last two seasons, you know? And, and people ask me, why, you, why you've been so long at Force India and so on? I, so, I mean, why, why, why shall I change to move around, you know? It, if, I, if I make a change, it's to go a lot higher up the grid and, and that opportunity hasn't come. How does someone growing up in Guadalajara, one, discover motorsport, but two, actually know enough or want it enough to, to move to Europe and leave everybody behind. You talked about when you first arrived, you were very lonely. Yeah, it's, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's just your passion, you know, you're, I mean, you're 15 year old, I have the support from my family to go into Europe, that's it, you know. I, I remember I went to Europe with a single way flight. I never knew when I was coming back or, and had, Every race was critical, you know, because if I don't do well, then I don't have the sponsorship for the next one and so on. So I remember every, every time I was going to the airport uh, and saying goodbye to my family, we were all crying, you know, like if someone died, you know, and we, I was just going to Europe to race. And, and that kind of thing that I, I think back and, well, is everything worth it? I mean, it's everything uh, worth and And it is, you know, because then, you achieve your dreams, you get to meet and, and race incredible drivers, but uh, it's a lot of sacrifice as well.